23-year-old Giovanni Thibodeau is suing her former friend, 23-year-old Mariah Johnson, for the return of money she paid for airline tickets and punitive damages for fraud. Ms. Thibodeau, Ms. Johnson was somebody that you knew as a friend? Correct. And you wanted to purchase some airline tickets for you and who else? Me, my mother, my grandmother. And you were going where? To Miami. And somehow you heard Ms. Johnson had a connection for cheap tickets? Yes. You were going to Miami from where? Dallas. Did you price the tickets from Miami to Dallas? I did. Trip? And how much were they? About $2,000 for two tickets. I was flying within a week of my travel date, looking and within a week of my travel date. Why? It was like a last minute thing. I was getting ready to move to Miami to go to school. How could it be a last minute thing if you were going to school? And what did you need your mother and your grandmother for? I hadn't been accepted into the school. What? I hadn't been accepted into the school yet. So yes. I was just going. School started in three weeks, looking for housing and doing some job interviews. Uh-huh. And what did you need your mother and your grandmother there for? My mother just wanted to make sure that I was going to find some place that was... And what did you need your grandmother for? My mother wanted to bring her along. Right. I have family in Miami. Terrific. So the tickets were going to cost $2,000 for everybody? Just two of us. And who was going to fly on the wing? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you said three of you were going, and you only priced tickets for two of it you. It was just me going initially until I got a hookup, and my mother said, oh, we'll go, too. OK. Then you found out that Ms. Johnson knew somebody who could get the tickets cheaper. Correct. Tell me how that came about. I was at her house talking about how I needed to get to Miami ASAP to look for housing. She's like, well, I got a friend that works for American Airlines. He can get you some cheap tickets. Did you ask who? Not initially. Ever? At the end, after I found out that it was a scam. Who was the person who could get cheap tickets who worked for the airlines? It was somebody I went to school with. Well, we both went to school with. Did you tell her who it was? Mm -hmm. Name? Ken. Has he been arrested? Did you file a police complaint against him? I did. They told me it wasn't criminal and I wasn't the victim in the case. But which police department did you tell that you bought bogus tickets The DeSoto from? Police Department. When did you go there and who did you speak to? Do you remember? No. And you told them that you had bought these tickets and they turned out to be bogus tickets? Mm hmm And you gave them the name of the person who you purchased it from? Mm hmm You gave the DeSoto Police Department Ken's name? Mm hmm Is that right? Yes. How do you reach Ken? I don't. He blocked us both. Because my mom bought tickets as well for 1500 That's a lie. I have proof. I'd like to see it. Mm -hmm. In any event, Ms. Tribodeau, you gave Ms. Johnson money to give to Ken. Correct. And she gave it to Ken because she gave you tickets. She didn't give me anything. He she... sent me confirmation numbers. He did. Well, then he wouldn't have sent you a confirmation number unless he had been paid. So, I mean, this wasn't a fictitious character that she made up, right? No. I believe he's real. Well, he, of course he's real. You both knew him from school. I don't know him. Never met him? Never met him. Okay. But after you gave her the money for the tickets, you got confirmation of the tickets from Ken. Correct. Which means whatever money you gave her, she gave to Ken, who then sent you bogus tickets. I wasn't there when she gave him my money. I don't who care. knows? I can't speculate that she gave him the cash. Neither, they were in on it together. Neither can I. I can't speculate that they were in it together. You want me to believe that they were in it together. You went to use these tickets, and you couldn't use the tickets because they were bogus. This person sent you tickets, or it sent you facsimile to tickets that you thought you could use to get on your flights, which you couldn't. You want me to make that leap between that and the fact that they were in a co-conspiracy so that I order her to give you back the money. And I'm telling you, you have to show me that she was somehow in a conspiracy and stole your money.